Hi friends, welcome to Team Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up Python on Linux in Windows using WSL and VS Code support for WSL and Python. If you don't know what WSL is, WSL means Windows Subsystem for Linux and it's a feature in Windows using which you can run Linux environments inside Windows without any dual boot or virtual machines. I've already made a video and blog post on setting up WSL in Windows. I will leave the link of that video in the description. So you can check it out to know how to set up WSL in Windows. So these are the topics we are going to discuss now. First let's try to set up Python, pip and vn in the WSL Ubuntu. And then let's see how we can install multiple Python versions using Dead Snakes PPA. And then we are going to talk about how to run Python programs and installing Python packages in WSL. And how to set up virtual environments in Python projects inside WSL Ubuntu. And we will take a look at how VS Code can make working with WSL easy and productive. And then we're going to take a look at update alternatives command in Ubuntu so that we can create aliases for Python versions. So let's try to set up Python, pip and vn in Ubuntu. First, let's try to open a command prompt. Let us see whether I have any WSL distro installed. So I'm going to write WSL minus L minus V. And you can see I have no WSL distributions installed. So let's try to install an Ubuntu WSL distribution. So let's try to see what are my options. So I'm going to write WSL minus L minus O which means list out the online distributions. So I can install Ubuntu 22.04. So let's try to install that. I'm going to write WSL minus minus install Ubuntu 22.04. And now Ubuntu 22.04 will be installed. So that's it. We have installed Ubuntu 22.04. So this is a brand new Ubuntu 22.04 Linux distribution installed in WSL. All right, now let's talk about setting up Python. Python comes pre-installed in Ubuntu. So if you want to open this distribution again, let's try to open that again. I'm going to close this Ubuntu terminal and I'm going to open the normal command prompt and let's try to write WSL. So if you write WSL, your session will be started to the Ubuntu distribution. So now I'm in the Ubuntu machine. So let's try to see whether Python is installed or not. So I can just write Python 3 minus minus version. So I've got Python already installed is 3.10.6 and then I can see where the location of Python is. So I can write which Python 3. So the Python 3 is installed in user bin Python 3 folder. And then if you want to update your Python 3 distribution, you can just write sudo apt upgrade Python 3. So it's already upgraded, but if your Python 3 is not upgraded, it can be easily upgraded using this command sudo apt upgrade Python 3. And that's it. Our Python is set up now. Now let's try to set up pip because using pip, you can actually install external Python packages. So installing it is really easy. You can just write sudo apt install Python 3 pip. So let's try to write that command sudo apt install python3 pip. I'm getting this message because I did not update my packages. So let's try to do that now. I'm gonna write sudo apt update and then write sudo apt upgrade. And let's say yes for everything. And now our packages are updated. Let's try to run the command again. sudo apt install python3 pip. Let's try to say yes. So Python 3 pip is installed so we can use the pip module to install external Python packages and then we can also install vn for creating virtual environments in our Python projects inside Ubuntu. So installing vn is very simple you can just write sudo apt install python3 vn. So I'm gonna write sudo apt install python3 vn. So that's all python3 vn is also installed so we can create virtual environments in our Python projects. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is how to set up multiple Python versions inside Ubuntu. So there is this cool repository called Dead Snakes PPA and using this repository you can install multiple Python versions. So first you have to add the repository of Dead Snakes PPA. So you should run this command sudo add app repository and then PPA Dead Snake PPA slash PPA. So let's try to write that sudo add app repository PPA colon Dead Snake slash PPA. So Dead Snakes PPA is installed. Now I can install multiple Python versions. So let's try to install Python 3.7. So I can write sudo apt install Python 3.7. So Python 3.7 is installed. So I can just see Python 3.7 version minus minus version. And you can see Python 3.7.16. And you can even run Python 3.7. You can just write Python 3.7. You are running Python 3.7.16. And if you just write Python 3, you're running Python 3.10.6. But there is one more command you need to install, which is Python 3.7 dist utils, 
because if you want to run pip commands you have to use this dist util so let's try to copy this and write sudo apt install python 3.7 dash dist utils so now using this python 3.7 i can even do the pip install so let's try to see that now python 3.7 minus m which is module of pip so let's try to enter and here you can see the pip command is working this is because we have actually installed python 3.7 dash dist utils also all right that's how we can set up multiple python versions using the dead snakes ppa in this example i also installed python 3.9 so let's try to do that now in our example also let's try to copy these commands and paste it here let's try to just write and and let's try to say yes for everything all right we also installed python 3.9 you can see which python 3.9 and it's already installed in user bin python 3.9 all right enough of installation let's try to run python in wsl so i'm going to take a blank folder and i'm going to create a new file let's try to write it hello.py and let's try to edit it let's write print hello world i'm saving it and closing it and let's try to open a command prompt here so i'm going to write cmd and i've got my command prompt open in that folder so if you want to run the python script using the python installed in the wsl linux distribution it's really simple you don't need to even open the linux distribution just write wsl behind the command so i'm going to write wsl python 3 hello.py and that's it without opening the wsl shell you are able to run the wsl command by just writing wsl in front of it i'm telling inside the wsl run the command python 3 hello.py so it's that simple to run python scripts in linux using wsl so now if i want to run python with the python 3.7 which i have installed i can just write wsl python 3.7 hello.py and that's it we have run hello.py with another python version which is python 3.7 so that's how you can run python scripts inside the wsl linux environments all right let's try to run a flask server inside this wsl linux environment but for that you need to install flask using pip right so let's try to do that now I'm going to open the WSL shell. So now our WSL shell is active. And let's try to write the command python3 minus m pip install flask. So I'm installing flask module inside the python3 installation of the Linux environment. All right. Flask is installed in the WSL Linux environment now. You can just check python3 minus m pip list. And there's a module called flask installed. All right. Let's try to write a server.py file here. So I'm going to open this folder in VS Code now. I'm going to right click and open with VS Code. So let's try to create a file and just name it server.py. So let's write a very simple Flask server. Our Flask server is ready. Let's try to run this using the Python installed inside the WSL Linux environment. So I'm going to go back to the command line. And if you say ls, you got our server.py. So let's try to run this server.py. So I'm going to write python3 server.py. And you can see the server is listening at localhost 5000. So let's try to open that in our browser, localhost 5000. And here you can see hello world. So the best part is even if the flash server is running inside the Linux environment, you can directly access it inside the Windows environment and WSL takes care of it automatically. And that's how simple you can run a flash server in WSL. Even if you exit the WSL and if you are inside the folder and you can just write without opening the WSL, wsl python3 server.py so without even opening the wsl shell you can run the python server inside the wsl linux environment all right we've opened vs code let's try to see how vs code can support wsl so let's try to close this command prompt now and let's try to run this server from vs code but if i run this server now it will run from windows so there is a bit setup to be done in vs code to open a folder from wsl linux distribution so first I'm going to search for extensions. So I'm going to write WSL. So WSL is an extension that should be installed first. I've already installed WSL VS Code extension. And then after installing the WSL VS Code extension, you can just click on this WSL connection icon. So click on this and then you can see I reopen the folder in WSL. Currently the folder is open using Windows VS Code. But now if you reopen the folder in WSL, you can see starting VS Code in WSL Ubuntu. So now the VS Code instance is running in the Ubuntu Linux distribution running in WSL. So if I just open this hello.py and try to run, I don't see any Python play button because Python extension for WSL is still not installed. So let's go to the extensions and then write Python. And here you can see Python is installed in my Windows, but it's not installed in WSL Ubuntu. So let's try to install that in Ubuntu also. 
So now after installation, you can see extension is enabled on WSL Ubuntu 22.04. So now if you open this hello.py, you can see the button here. And if you run this, it's asking to select a Python interpreter. So I already have some three types of Python interpreters, which is 3.10, 3.9 and 3.7, which you have installed now. So let's try to select the default Python installation inside user bin Python 3. And now let's try to run it again. And here you can see without any commands, we are able to run the Python script inside WSL. And the best part is you can very easily select Python version also in VS code just by clicking on this Python version. And let's try to run it with 3.7 now. User bin Python 3.7, just click on it and run it. And now using 3.7, you're actually running your Python script. All right, let's get back to Python 3.10.6. Let's try to run our server also now. So let's try to run it. And you can see in VS code, very easily we are able to run Flask server in WSL Ubuntu. So let's try to reload this page again. And you can see it's working. The best part is you can even debug your Python script inside WSL Ubuntu using this VS code WSL extension. So let's try to run it in debug mode. And now let's go to the browser and click enter. And here our code is being debugged. So it's pretty convenient to even debug Python files using VS Code's WSL extension. This is how the WSL extension in VS Code actually makes working with Linux environments inside WSL very easy and productive. All right, let's try to see an example of virtual environment also in this WSL Python environment. So I'm going to open a command prompt here and by default, it has opened the session inside the WSL Linux environment. So let's try to create a virtual environment here. So I'm going to write Python 3 minus MVN which is a VN module and let's try to write the name of virtual environment as app underscore env and now a virtual environment is created you can see the folder app underscore n you can activate the virtual environment from command prompt very easily you can just write source and the path of that virtual environments activate script so it's going to be dot slash app underscore n bin and activate so you can see that here app underscore n bin and activate so you have to run this script so let's try to run this and here you can see our app and virtual environment is activated but you need to write this command in command prompt if you're not using vs code if you're using vs code you can just click on this python version and select the virtual environments python so here i got a recommendation app vm so let's try to click that and now i've got my virtual environment selected so if you don't get this recommendation just click on enter the interpreter path find it and inside this you got bin python so let's try to run it in the virtual environment and obviously we get the error no module flash because it's completely another environment and now in this environment you can just write python 3 minus m pip install flask and flask will be installed so now flask is installed in this virtual environment and then you can run flask with this virtual environment now this is how you can set up and manage virtual environments inside wsl python projects all right let's talk about update alternatives command for aliasing python versions to a keyword called python so if you just write a command like this Let's try to copy this and let's try to open a command prompt and open WSL in it. So I've opened a command prompt and let's try to open WSL session and let's try to paste this. So I'm writing update alternatives install user bin python. So there is actually no python. There is only python 3 in this WSL. So I'm telling install a new package inside this user bin python. Name it python and it should be aliased from this python 3.9. So if I just click enter, obviously I need permission. So I'm going to run it as a sudo. And now if I say which Python, I got user bin Python, but if I run Python, it's Python 3.9. And if you want to remove the aliases, just write update alternatives minus remove all Python. Then the Python alias will be removed from WSL Ubuntu system. The reason why I mentioned update alternatives command is because you can use a single alias called Python and just change the underlying Python version by using update alternatives command. So that your shell script will have the keyword Python but you can change the python version in the background using the update alternatives command so that's it guys this is how you can set up python in linux inside windows wsl ubuntu distribution you can see i've created a blog post on this topic and i've also given you the commands and examples so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer so be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace